So, we're paying a lot of dues, right? Yeah. Everybody hear that insurance went up a little bit? Yep, and did you hear that it split between two semesters now? Yeah, that happened. So, this is what our chapter sizes look like. This is as of the end of last year. Um, this is wrong, but that's what it looks like. This is actually 41. 41. Um, some of the numbers are close to right, but they're basically wrong. Um, but this is the numbers that headquarters has. If you've updated your roster already, you're fine. If your number looks wrong and you haven't updated your roster, this is the number you're going to get billed for for your insurance, just to be clear. So what does that mean? Update your roster. When to do? October 1st. So let's do it like this weekend. All right. Oh, sorry. So NJIT, what are your dues this semester? Five fifty. Five fifty. Does that include the house or no? Yeah. Well, no, 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 it doesn't. Rutgers, what are yours? Three ninety. Three ninety. What about about pens out here? Cornell's out here. Monmouth. How much? Six hundred. Six hundred. That that includes the gym membership though, so we're good. Scene yeah. uh, Hall, what are your dues this semester? Three fifty. Okay. FTU, what are your dues? Three hundred. Rowan. Four twenty. Four twenty. Oh. <laughs> okay, Montclair. <laughs> Two seventy-six. Two seventy-six. William Patterson. Three ninety. Three ninety. And TCNJ. Three fifty. Three fifty. All right. So we see we see a lot of differentiation in what our chapters are paying for dues. So really, what does it include? Does it include recruitment? Does it include T-shirts? Does it include social? Does it include parent weekend? Does it include? Uh, IFC dues, complication assessment fees, <coughs> insurance, all right, all those things. Here's some of the fixed costs. Anybody know what the chapter fee is for dues? This is the what you need to pay every semester per chapter for insurance. Two fifty. That's five hundred dollars every year for every chapter, no matter what your size is. What are complication assessment fees? 350. That's another 700. How many of you include travel to mid year in your dues? What chapters? Some of you, not all of you. This is something that definitely should be included because it also helps you reduce your insurance rates every year if you go. But you figure $250 should cover a flight for everybody, all four members. How many of you pay for? Transportation or registration to maybe or to the summer event, so convocation and <laughs> leadership school or single by university. Not not too many. I'd like to see a few more. Um, it'll help one for the people that are going because they're representing your chapters. So it's something that you should be doing. But that's another thousand dollars. So taking all those fixed costs and putting it together, that's thirty-two hundred dollars per chapter. So what is that if you got 20 men? That's 160, just in fixed costs. This doesn't include insurance rates per man, it doesn't in include IFC dues or anything like that. 30 men, 107, 40 men, 80, and so on. So we're in recruitment time and we went through, you know, a lot of you have 10, 8, 7, 10, uh, some Rutgers has 21 possible new members. So let's go with 10. I knew what you were going to say. If you increase by 10, that's the amount of money you save. If you increase by 20, that's the amount of money you save. So if you have, if you, if you have 20 men and you increase it to 40, what would you do with 1,600 extra dollars? 
<laughs> what, what would you? Go to Rowan? <laughs> You can actually do that for the bottom of your chair. So this is what the insurance rates were with the email you guys got from Joe Turk. This is what your each chapter is paying for insurance. There's a big differential here. The so lowest is Rutgers, then TCNJ, then Monmouth, FDU, Rowan, Cornell. And an NJIT. Now, if you don't see your your chapter name here, um, that's because you pay even more. Um, but let's go through why chapters are getting discounts. Mid-year leadership conference. If you send one person to the mid-year leadership conference, you get one percent off. Send two, you get two. Chapter three, send four, you get five percent. Um, Omega five. Listen, Omega Phi is, is, is happening. If it hasn't happened to you, it will probably happen to you. Uh, it's important that we try to do that correctly. Efficiency. Oh, these negatives are actually positives, to be clear. This is a reduction in your, in your rates. So for the gold standard, Rutgers got 10% uh, off. So did TCNJ. Um, and because their chapter size is over 50, anything from 50 to 99 gets 5% off. Anything over 100 gets 10% off. Now, this number here is probably going to go to 70. This is their number of 41, um, to be clear. Um, but some of the numbers that are above 50 might come down as well. You're going to see a couple chapters with uh, that. And the last, the last column is risk management. Um, NJIT, you had two of them. Um, this could be anything from hazing to alcohol to the school calling headquarters and saying they did something wrong. Um, but that increases you by 10%. But NJIT still, with the negative five for mid-year leadership conference and having omega five, even out some of the negatives. So that's great news. So here's our other chapter. <coughs> These are the chapters that are helping fund the chapters that did better. What I would like to do is next next year when we do the same presentation, set all of these chapters on the first page. William Patterson is paying 104 because the gold standard was less than 60%. Um, and if you look, Montclair, Seton Hall, East Stroudsburg, and Hofstra are all paying an extra 10% because of their gold standard. We don't have the gold standard anymore. We don't have it. But if you look at the new standards that we're going to be using, you can save 20% off your insurance rates by getting 96%. And it's easier this year. It's like your efficiency points. It's just like doing that. So having 50% of your chapter here, you're already there. You're getting there. Um, the majority of you all did all of your officer reports this year. That's great. Let's just keep that up and make sure that when we transition in the fall, or at the end of the fall, that our new elected leaders are ready to take on the task of continuing to do great. This can only get better. This can only get better. So what else can you do? These are just things that have been done. What are, you, what are your favorite fundraisers? What do you do to make money for yourselves? Nothing? <laughs> Rowan, just keep it down back there, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? You guys don't do any fundraising for yourselves? Nothing. You've never done a... Go ahead. We do fundraisers every summer where we've been session set and sell beverages and you concerts. They don't back in here. <laughs> uh, every summer we work at uh, concerts like Governor's Ball and Fish and uh, sell beverages at concession sets. Great. And how much money do you make? A uh, decent amount. <laughs> it's all tips and like... Uh, thousand ten, bucks? A hundred ten, bucks? Ten cents per drink. It varies every time. One time we made six grand, sometimes we made Six grand? Yeah. Anybody want to make six grand? Yeah. Grand, they want to make a grand for themselves. 
You guys remember those fixed costs? How much were they? 3200 What could you do with that? <laughs> Alright, so moving on. Here's budgets. Who's third counselor in here? Third counselors? Three, four. Alright, there's four third counselors here. That's um, <laughs> sorry. They're responsible. They're supposed to come up with a budget along with the chairs and the executive board. Um, how many people here think the fraternity dues should pay for their alcohol? There was a time where that was allowed. It doesn't happen anymore. Anybody think it should? Well, all right, let's, let me say it again. Does anybody think it would be great if the fraternity money could go toward alcohol? Yes, it, w it would be, but it can't. Um, the benefit of, of being a member of Sigma Pi is that you can still have alcohol, but we have rules to follow around FIPG. And if you'd like to see the FIPG guidelines, I have a copy up here. I have a bunch of copies up here. Uh, so you can take them with you so you can see what the actual rules are. Um, but your dues cannot include alcohol. What you pay in your budget should be more than what you actually think you need because you're not going to collect it all from everybody. There's going to be people that leave school, there's going to be people that quit, people that just don't pay their dues, um, and we need to handle them properly. This is an old presentation. It used to say, fall includes insurance, so I added that little line in there. So it's spring. Uh, and the budgets need to be approved by the chapter. And if you do a line item budget, the chapter has to approve those line item changes. So, what should be in your, how many people put alumni relations in their budgets? Third counselors, raise your hands. If you, if, if you do. What about brotherhood events? All right, let's do it a different way, all right, sorry. What chapters don't include brotherhood events in their dues? What about new member education funds? Anybody? Doesn't? You don't? Do you, do you buy them books? Do you buy them do events with them? Then you do. Um, philanthropy. Sometimes you have to spend money to make money. Right? So philanthropy should be included in that. And you also need to publicize some of your philanthropy. ACE projects. Is there a budget for that? Should you be paying for that? Joe's going to talk about uh, great insights into the ACE project in a few minutes. Marketing and PR. You don't need to spend a fortune here. With Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of crazy stuff out there, um, you guys are so lucky to be in an age where you can communicate and get things out. Uh, for instance, I was looking up the faculty director, uh, faculty advisor for Seton Hall, because I was up there with them. And he's a graduate of Seton Hall, but he worked at NJIT for a long time. And I Googled him, and he came up with a YouTube image of Father John Dennehy. And if you saw Joe Turk, Joe Turk, tweet, I sent it to Joe, because I don't tweet, I don't do any of that stuff, because I'm, I'm just too old. So is Joe, really. But, you know. <laughs> um, but Joe tweeted it out, he put it up on the Facebook page, and uh, now Father, I was getting, messages from uh, Larry Rivera, who's a pastor in Station, California, saying, wow, Father Denny, he seems like a great advisor. Um, and he really is. Uh, but it was a great way to do it. And I did it, and I'm 40-something. I'm you guys can do it. Um, and those are things we already talked about. When are dues due? <coughs> Third counselors, I know this is the hardest part of your job, collecting dues, but they should be due the first day of school because nobody has spent any money yet. First day of school. Um, after 10 days, they're late, they're delinquent. Um, payment plans, they're not recommended by the headquarters, they're not recommended by me, but they happen. Um, but if you do it, something like this will work. So what if they don't pay? How many people, how many chapters have a 100% collection rate? Yeah. All right. So there's people that don't pay in your chapter. What do you do with them? 
What do you do? You say, oh, they're my brothers, I can't do anything with them. I don't want to kick them out. I don't want to flex. We just filed a 3069 year old. 3069 year old. Somewhere here. What's the 3069 year old? Um, after 30 days, it's an optional suspension. 60 is automatic and 90 is expelled. Have you expelled anybody? No? Has anybody expelled anybody? Would you like to expel somebody? You have? Yeah. Or you would like to? Are they here? Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> exactly. Um, I kicked out my best friend. <laughs> um, he was my best friend, he was my pledge brother, and I kicked him out. Sorry, I kicked him out. Um, he felt like he was a senior and didn't have to pay his dues. Um, I haven't talked to him since I kicked him out. Uh, that was in 1995. I still have a lot guy saying, hey, whatever happened to Darren? I'm gonna look him up, his name is Darren. Um, and I just say, I don't know. Um, there's a balance between running a fraternity and being responsible and being friends with somebody. And I think you all might have seen this, uh, but there's a book called The Good Guys. Uh, and this book comes from them. The fraternity is pretty simple. You promise something to a bunch of guys. They promise the same back to you. Then you hold each other to that promise. If someone breaks the promise, it's pretty simple. You don't get to play anymore. Um, that's the way it is. <coughs> it sounds harsh, but we have to make sure that these events are funded properly. <coughs> if FDU can do all of the stuff they do with eight guys paying $300? You all can do that. And for those of you that have trouble finding brotherhood events, call the guys at FDU. You know, they have more brotherhood events than you could possibly imagine. Now, is it easier to get eight guys to an event than it is to get 40 or 30 or 25? Yeah. Um, they can all fit into one van and two cars. Uh, but at the same time, a brotherhood event doesn't need to be your entire chapter. A brotherhood event can be an event with 10 of you, 5 of you, 15 of you. These are things that should be put into your budgets, these are things that should be planned for, and these are things that really need to be included in your fraternity experience. Because those are the things that you're going to remember. You're not going to remember going to a chapter meeting. You're not going to remember your base project unless it's fantastic. You're not going to remember uh, a brotherhood dinner, but you are going to remember a camping trip and a, a fishing trip, an event where you all just go out and have a scavenger hunt, a group of scavenger hunt, no stealing. Um, right? Anybody have any questions? Comments? That sucks. That was wonderful. Oh wow, you look great. This used to be purple and now it's pink because I can use it. Alright.